Hey guys, it's Medicos as Perfect Schnellis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. Today, we have a very brief discussion about the difference between intramembranous and intracartilaginous ossification. Which one is more common? Intracartilaginous ossification is. Intramembranous only happens in few bones, such as your clavicles and the bones in the vault of your skull. The rest of the body is intracartilaginous. This is part of my anatomy playlist. You can classify bones in many ways, including according to position, according to structure, according to development, which is today's topic, and according to their shapes. We talked about all of these aspects before. Today we'll talk about intramembranous versus intracartilaginous. We talked about the bone structure before, the diaphysis versus epiphysis, compact bone versus spongy or cancellous bone, and we talked about the periosteum with its functions in the previous video. And the bone is made of matrix minerals and it contains cells. Intramembranous, what's the deal? The bone is derived directly from embryonic mesenchymal membrane. Where did that come from? From the mesoderm. So the mesoderm will give you bone directly, which means rapid ossification, such as the clavicle and the bones of the vault of your skull. Intracartilaginous is different. First, you have to make a cartilage from mesoderm, and then the cartilage will die. Upon the remnants of that cartilage, you will lay down your bone. So it's an indirect process versus intramembranous is direct. And since intracartilaginous is indirect, it's going to take longer, which happens in most bones of your body, especially long bones. That's it. If you like this video, you'll also enjoy my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionetis.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.